Hi everyone, welcome to another practical chess position. This one's going to be a little different than the others. This is from a book called Test Your Positional Play. It's an old school book and there's 30 tests in it and basically it's just positions where they give you three choices of plans and then you have to choose the one that you would play. So I'm going to tell you what the three choices are and then we're going to work it out together. I've, I've seen some of these before when I was a kid but I don't know if I know, I remember the answers, um, but they're kind of cool. So plan A is occupation of weak squares, c5 and e5. And it says ID of knight b3 with the ID of knight to c5. Um, and to exchange a pair of knights so that he will have lasting control over e5 with his knight on f3. Uh, so basically knight, knight b3, knight c5, knight takes, queen takes, and then use the knight to control e5. Plan B, creating a passed pawn. Uh, and basically the idea here is he wants to go knight on B to C5. But after knight takes, he wants to go pawn takes in order to create uh, a passed pawn on C5. So just to, just to clarify, let's say A4 for what, whatever. One line is to take with the queen. The other idea, take with the pawn and create a passed pawn. Plan C, doubling rooks on the C file. And it says, I think the dominating theme of the position lies in the fact that black is threatening to counter control of the C file by playing bishop a6 and rook c8. Therefore, he goes queen b3, and after bishop a6, uh, rook to c7, <coughs> with the idea of rook to c1. So you have to choose between these three ideas. Knight b3 to c5, uh, with the idea of knight takes queen takes, knight takes pawn takes, or queen b3, with the idea of rook doubling on the c file with rook c7. So pause your video, choose the one you would like to do, and then I will tell you my answer. All right, so I mean, I haven't done this puzzle in like, I did this when I was a kid, but they were very hard for me then. I couldn't really understand them so well. But now they're like very obvious to me. Um, almost without, without a doubt, the right move has to be A uh, to take with the queen. These types of positions where you get a, a knight on e5, uh, like some position like this, or like just technically winning when you're playing against a bad bishop like this, blocking by all the pawns. Uh, taking with a pawn would just be a, a mistake. I mean, all of a sudden they can go e5, and your knight's just not as good. Their bishop improves. Um, they can come to e6 with the bishop. It's just not very good. Uh, queen b3 just doesn't make any sense. Bishop a6, rook c7 maybe makes some small sense, but he can even go a4. Uh, and after this, bishop a6, for example. I'm sure there's like some tactical refutation that they were hoping some of us wouldn't see. Um, so let's see. I'm pretty sure the answer is A. Yeah, plan A is the correct plan. Ten points. Plan B, two points. Although the idea, like I said, if, if we take with the pawn, um, they get to go E5. So knight B3, A4, take, 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 E5. And plan C, uh, strategically the plan is a good idea, but queen B3 runs into A4. So that's it. And there's a famous game, actually, Alakine versus Yates. I, I've seen this game before, and it's just kind of like a domination with the knight versus the bishop. I recommend you check it out. Alakine, Yates, London, 1922. But thanks for watching. I hope you guys chose Plan A also, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.